Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jamie Davis, and I'm the head of Creative and Performing Arts here at Windsor. Uh, thanks for joining me this afternoon in this beautiful sunshine. I won't keep you very long. Uh, just going to quickly go through the courses that we run here at Windsor, the creative courses anyway. Um, I'm assisted this afternoon with Fiona, so if you have any questions whilst I'm talking through, she will try her best to answer. But then any specific uh, subject related questions you have for me, I will do my best to answer at the end. So, uh, as I say, I'm the Head of Creative and Performing at Windsor College. Uh, my email address is there, so if you have any burning questions in the next coming weeks, uh, by all means feel free to email me. Okay, so as a department we've got a range of subjects and range of levels for you. Uh, the majority of you will be interested in that middle column. Uh, which is the level three courses. So if you've just finished your GCSEs or looking to finish them next year, you'll then move on to a full time level three qualification. Uh, so we have a small group of creative A levels for you, which you are able to study as a, a nice creative suite of three subjects, or you could mix with humanities or sciences. Uh, A-levels are run on four and a half hours a week, uh, plus about the same again in independent study time. The next column over, we have a foundation diploma in performing arts. Uh, that's somewhere that sits in between the A-levels and the extended diploma, and it is worth one and a half A-levels. So it's a very practical course, and you will be able to study that alongside two other A-levels. And then the column on your right is the level three extended diploma. They're kind of the most popular ones we have at the college and they are the creative practice. They are the equivalent of three A-levels. That means that you will spend all of your time uh, studying that one subject and studying a range of uh, disciplines within it. And we have performing arts practice, creative media practice, art and design practice, and then the art and design specialist pathway in fashion interiors and 3D design. When you come to us to enrol, if things haven't worked out for you at school and you don't have the entry requirements for a level three, uh, we also do have some level two courses for you. Uh, we run those through the University Arts London and we have them in creative media and performing and production arts. So performing and production arts, you'll spend half your time acting and half of your time in an art studio looking at set design and costume design and prop design. Uh, they're nice little qualifications, they're the equivalent of three GCSEs and they give you the opportunity to reset your maths and English alongside. So just a nice creative way to have a fresh start if for whatever reason school didn't work out as planned. Uh, bottom row there, we've also got level fours. Uh, they are essentially our foundation degrees. So level four is the equivalent of your first year at universities. So what we find now is a lot of our students stay with us that extra one year that gives them the opportunity to really specialise in their creative discipline. Main thing to bear in mind of the level fours of if you are 18 at the point of starting, uh, they are still free for you. So a lot of our students take up the opportunity to have one final year of free education before going off to uni with those massive fees. OK, so I'll just quickly go through each of the departments that we have. So first up, we have our performing arts. Um, as a department, the facilities wise, we have two drama studios on campus where you will have your lessons, but also where you will do mini performances. And then we also work at the Old Court Arts Centre, which is a two minute walk down the road. Over the two years, uh, you'll study a basically a little bit of everything. So you look at uh, skill development in voice and movement and then a range of styles. So naturalistic acting, contemporary theatre, Shakespeare political theatre, pantomime and devising. As well as that, we make sure then that you are ready for the industry or your next steps. So we'll prep you in audition technique, uh, looking at creative careers, we'll bring in guest speakers, we'll take you on a small scale tour and we'll take you to as many trips to the theatre as we possibly can. With regards to the performance element, everything is project based. So you'll always be up on your feet, always working on a show. Uh, over two years, you will perform in about five large scale public productions. 
and then you will also go on tour with your pantomime which goes around the local primary schools so it gives you a real taster of life as the working actor so next we move on to our creative media so creative media is really there to prepare you for the film and tv industries and again it's a multidisciplinary uh, course that introduces you to a little bit of everything so you're looking at your single camera drama uh, editing uh, pre and post production special effects digital photography script writing uh, for the film buffs there's a whole film studies unit and then in terms of facilities we again have a fully equipped max suite two computer suites a drama studio for for all of your filming as well as a green uh, green screen booth dark room and audio booths uh, if you don't have much equipment yourself that's you don't need to worry about that because we have plenty of equipment plenty of cameras digital cameras microphones that we lend out to students so we have everything you could possibly need as well as the latest software so again really making sure that you are up to date for the industry okay so art and design practice so we have a range of art and design studios on campus um, and again the main generic art and design course will again introduce you to all the basics all the skills and all the disciplines so you will look at painting and drawing fine art ceramics sculpture textiles uh, graphic design illustration printmaking photography again introducing you to everything especially in that first year so first year is very much about skills development you finding your main interest and main pathway second year then it is an opportunity for you to really focus on your main key strengths for those of you who are for the art and design student who wants to specialize a little bit more at this level however we do also have a specialist pathway so we have it's an art and design course but it is with the focus on fashion interiors and 3d design so in this one you will look at fashion design and garment making uh, with our teacher who is a trained tailor you will look at visual merchandising retail display window display in shops uh, prop making, set and costume design, large scale installations and also graphic communication. It's also there for any of you budding interior designers as well. Uh, it's, uh, it's an exciting course and it has recently been honoured with a Centre of Excellence status from the British Display Society. So we're only one of four colleges in the country to have such an award and uh, as i say the teachers on this course have all been in this industry and they know what you need to do to get those jobs the, these are teachers who have trained at london college of fashion university arts london and they've worked at selfridges they've worked at harrods they've worked at burberry they've been professional interior designers they've worked as professional tailors so they really do know their stuff and they really can guide you towards those next steps so that's it for our btechs with regards to the BTEC, in terms of progression, um, the BTEC really is there to get you to those, um, to the creative degrees. So our performing arts students, they progress to the university of choice, normally to study uh, drama degrees, but also they do a range of things like English event management, psychology, and also drama schools. So recent drama school success, we've had students going to Lambda, uh, Royal Conservatoire of Scotland, uh, Rose Bruford and Leeds College of Music. With regards to art, uh, design, fashion and media, we've had our students going to uh, the London Retail Academy, London College of Fashion and Falmouth University. So our students really do aim for the top places to get them into those careers. Alternatively, you can look at creative A-levels. Uh, now, as I said before, you could pick three out of these four as a lovely creative suite of A-levels, or you could mix with humanities or sciences. 
If you study at an A level, you will be in class four and a half hours a week with an additional five hours of independent study time. And we make sure that the studios and facilities are available for you for that independent study. The main difference with A levels and BTECs, of course, is the exams. So BTECs are entirely 100% coursework based. OK, but your A levels, there is a mixture. So for your film studies and media studies, there is quite a heavy uh, exam element to the subjects. So yes, you will have your coursework, but then there are also two written exams and they're worth a third each. With regards to photography and graphic communication, the majority of your final grade is calculated on your personal investigation, which is the coursework that you would start at the beginning of your first year. And then you get a practical exam, which is 15 hours, and that's just a topic set by the exam board, and that is marked and moderated by the exam board. So, as it is a college, there are obvious differences between college and school, and it is absolutely the case that we we at Windsor College do try to provide you with that little bit of freedom. We try to support you in stepping away from school and getting you ready for higher education and employment. But having said that, we obviously still have high expectations with regards to attendance and punctuality, uh, with dress code, behaviour, wearing IDs to keep you to keep you safe, and just general respect and ready to learn. Um, the whole purpose of college is we try to teach, treat you as adults. So in terms of college life at Windsor, um, there's plenty of other activities. It's a nice little campus and has a strong community feel to it. Uh, we have freshers fairs, we have clubs and societies. Uh, for the high achieving student amongst you, we also have an extended project qualification uh, to sort of really help you get into those high universities. Uh, we have student parliament and student union because the student voice is very important to us and finding out what the students think of us and how we can change things for you is really important. And of course, trips and visits, which is a huge part of our creative curriculum uh, with regards to the theatre, uh, art galleries, cinema trips and also trips abroad. So we've recently uh, taken our students to Barcelona and uh, our level four performing arts we take to the Edinburgh Festival every year. The last bit on that, uh, this last slide that I want to draw your attention to is our Instagram site. So for to find out more about the subjects and what we do and what work we do, um, the best place to find those out is on our individual Instagram site. So I urge you to have a look at those. So we have one for performing arts, for photography, for art and fashion and for media. That will tell you everything you need to know and give you a real taster of the work and the achievements of our students. And I promised you I'd be quick and that is all for me. So any questions, please fire away and Fiona will help us out. Thanks, Jamie. That was great. Gosh, it's such a big area, isn't it? Um, I've got a question about um, performing arts in both level two and three. Is dance yeah. included? It is, yes. Uh, mainly at level two, it's more movement based, so healthy body and fitness. And then at level three, there will be a, a dance unit. So there are, uh, we do movement, physical theatre, stage combat and contemporary dance. So it's not um, focused on sort of ballet or tap. It's looking at um, the dance skills of the actor. So I wouldn't say it is, it's not a course for dancers. It's a it's a course to help actors be confident if they were say, being in a musical. Great, thank you. Um, what is the difference between the level two programmes and the level three? Uh, so with regards to um, qualification size, so your level two is the equivalent of, GC of three GCSEs. So that's there for the student who needs to resit, essentially. So what they will do, they'll be able to resit their maths and English GCSEs, and that fits in really nicely then with a course in creative media or performing and production arts. 
So essentially your aim of the end of that year is to come out with five GCSEs, the equivalent of three in the creative subject and your maths and English. Um, I suppose the level two, there is more of an art element to it. So we look at production design. So, and then we tailor depending on the student strengths. So some students sign up, will sign up for the course and will most of their, will, most of their grades will be based on their performance work because they are the, more the actors than the artist. And then we have other students who are more art and design based and we will base their grades on prop making and set design. And the prop making and set design is always working off live briefs that feed into the production work at level three. But with regards to what's the difference between level two and three, they are both multidisciplinary. So they both uh, will introduce you to as many styles and skills as possible. Thank you. Um, for the fashion and interior, fashion, interior and 3D design, roughly how many hours a week are they and how many days a week would you normally be in college? Uh, so it is 13 and a half hours a week. So all our full time BTECs, it's 13 and a half hours of taught time. And then you also get a, you'll also get available studio time, which you can liaise with your teacher to work independently especially in that subject, because a lot of what you're doing is large scale. So it's not the sort of stuff that's necessarily always particularly easy to work at home in the library. You do need those studios. So the studios are there available for you. Um, usual timetables are between three and four days. We do try to make sure students uh, level three do get a day off if they can. If they're not having to resit their maths, for example, we try to make sure that you are into four days, so allowing you guys to get a job should you want one on that fifth day. Great, thank you. And in terms of coming back um, in September, uh, how are we keeping the, the classes um, small and safe? So at the moment, um, we're quite lucky in that in the one respect, because of these subjects, we have some of the biggest rooms. Um, so we have large studio spaces. Um, we are also so we have more room than we need for students so we can really spread them out. Um, and then we also it's making sure that it might be a case of splitting time for certain facilities, especially in computer rooms. So uh, it might be about splitting class sizes or having classes between two rooms, for example. Uh, with regards to uh, performing arts, we're quite lucky because we have the old court, which is a 120 seat auditorium, um, which can be pulled back. So we have a massive auditorium space there for students, but then that also potentially could be used as a large lecture hall to keep you all at a safe distance. So actually we are one of the luckier ones in the sort of space we have. That's great. Um, I've got another question about graphic communication A-level. Is that just offered at Strodes or is it also at Windsor? Um, it will be new in September, but it is now offered at Windsor as well. Yes. That's great. Um, also, can you start the level two um, as a starting point for performing and production arts if you've never done it before? Uh, we are certainly, yes, more. Uh, we have absolutely had students where at level two, um, they are looking at uh, the whole point of level two is, is for whatever reason students haven't come out with the grades that they wanted or needed um, so sometimes that does require a fresh outlook um, it might have been that you haven't studied creative subjects at school it might have been that you weren't able to study creative subjects at school so absolutely there we would have that understanding and allow students to try something new um, are there still entry requirements on those courses? Uh, there are, yes. So generally with a uh, level two, we'd be looking at you're looking at you're coming in with threes. Yeah, so you'd be wanting for uh, level three B tech, we'd be looking at four fours. Uh, so at level two, we're looking at four threes, really. Thank you. OK. Um, I'm not sure if this, I think we've answered most of the questions. Um, if anybody else has any more, please just pop them on the chat. We'll be here for a couple more minutes. Um, 
and we'll just we'll just wait to see if anybody's got any more questions. One moment. Yeah, of course. Uh, one more question has come in. Thank you, everybody. Uh, can you take fashion interior and 3D design without a creative background? Uh, and somebody wants to know, can they try it in the summer? Which obviously I'm not sure that's going to be possible in the current circumstances. Um, there is, there have been occasions, I think, especially at interview. Um, so the, the art and design practice, the, the broad art and design, if you are coming into that without um, experience at GCC art or design, design, for example, you are going to struggle. There is, um, um, lectures are slightly more open with regards to the fashion and interiors course just because of the specialism. So it, we, so in that course, you have some students who are art based. You have some students who are actually theater based and they like the idea of the set design and prop design and uh, costume. You have some students who are fashion and so they might not have done art, but they have done textiles. Um, you have some students who are more IT computer based and they're into graphics and they now want to move into interior design, for example. So they're absolutely, um, if you've had no art experience or have never picked up a pencil and have never drawn anything, that would potentially be a problem at interview. Um, but there is certainly uh, more flexibility and openness on that course, yes. Thank you. Is there um, any work experience in the creative sector included? Uh, there is, yes. Um, so we ensure that all of our level three B techs and level twos, they have a week's work experience. Um, and we support students as much as possible to find those places. So the fashion interiors and 3D design, they have their own links with local um, local stores and local designers. Um, we also have a lot of commissions that come in from the local community. So we do, uh, so the artists do local mural work, for example. Um, and then obviously we also have the old court. So a lot of our students gain work experience there. Great, thank you. Is it possible to combine dance and drama uh, at A level? Or do you have to just do one? Um, so we don't uh, run a specific dance course. So we have the um, extended diploma where you will do acting, dance, singing, directing, everything. Or we have the foundation diploma BTEC, which is worth one and a half. So you'll still do a selection of those skills based. We don't actually just have a specialist dance subject. OK, thank you. Uh, we do offer that at Strode's though, don't we? We do, yeah. Yeah, OK, thank you. In terms of the start and finish times at colleges, is it is it what what's the normal day look like? Uh, a normal day uh, is a 9 a.m. start and a 4.30 finish. Um, there are free periods within that. Um, I'm hesitant to say 9 a.m. start at the moment because obviously thinking about in September and making sure that everyone is safe, we are exploring the possibility of starting students later so they're not traveling at peak times. But things like that are still unconfirmed. But a usual day is uh, the earliest you would start would be nine and the latest you'd finish would be 4.30. Uh, with the exception of performing arts where once a term you would be doing uh, a product, you'd have a production week at the Arts Centre and those would be 12 hour days. So they'd be long days, but that would be one week every term. Somebody wants to know that if they do the graphic communication A level at Windsor, could they do digital photography as well, or would that be a waste of time to do both? Um, it wouldn't be a waste of time. I think it very much depends on what your career options are, what you want to go into. Um, but yeah, graphic communication is more about um, 
you know, it, I suppose actually I think they, they might actually combine quite well. So with photography, it's very much the art artistic approach to digital photography um, and then graphic communication is there is a, some element of uh, drawing but a lot of it then is um, computer-based graphics so actually I think they complement quite well. Thank you. Uh, last shout out for any more questions. Uh, I'm going to stay online for a couple more minutes. So if anybody does send anything through, I'll try and answer. And if not, I can get in, keep uh, in contact with Jamie and get some replies for you. Um, but uh, thanks very much, Jamie. That was great. Thank you. Thank you, guys.